What's going on guys? We're back here today with another video. This one is something different. This is the Mini Jeep Rubicon US Army Infantry Paint. This thing has 125 cc air cooled, three speed with reverse motor, 19 millimeter carb, which is gonna be swapped out for a 22 millimeter nibby tomorrow hopefully uh, the first thing we did here with this Jeep build was change the oil the oil was actually pretty clean uh, I didn't see too much particles or anything magnetic sticking to my magnet once I drained everything out it wasn't black it wasn't discolored anyway so that's a thumbs up for the first oil change and checked over some bolts I didn't see anything too loose at all but this was given to us by her grandfather as a gift and it's for the kids mostly but it's still pretty fun for adults to drive in has plenty of power for two adults to sit in here and go about 30 miles an hour tops out at and as you can see we added two light pods to the right and left fender very simple setup i'm still not done with it yet very bright compared to the halogen bulbs that are in this this in this model this is the front facing motor. I saw there was a mid mid rear engine and I heard they have better torque and a lot smaller sprocket and chain. So you also get a bigger gas tank with those models, but this model is pretty cool. Uh, like I said, it was given to me, so it is what it is and I'm thankful for it. And it's pretty sweet. It's fun to ride. Kids love riding this thing. Like I said, it goes about 30 miles an hour, top speed, downhill maybe 35, but it's got three speeds, and it's got an indicator, neutral, first, second, and third, and there's reverse, and we added attack, also an hour meter. This isn't, this isn't as accurate as I thought it would be, but... There was already four hours on this meter when I stuck it on here. It's got a little backlight display. So I'm thinking there's about an hour and a half, maybe two hours tops on this thing. I did the first oil change. So we got the folding seat. Got the uh, gas tank. I never tried to fill this up with anything, but it does unscrew. I'm sure it can hold something, but I think it's more like a decorative piece than anything you got the spare tire in the back complete wheel nice knobby tread on here nice suspension it's adjustable I don't know how adjustable but I'm sure you can adjust it it's got three disc brakes on it it's an auto clutch so there's no actual clutch you just jam it in gear downshift let off the gas it's not four-wheel drive, which is kind of a bummer, but it's still cool. Um, we'll pop the hood here. They got the wires tucked away to the side. Still going to tinker with this switch on here. I got to mount the switch on the dash. I just have it sitting here for now. As you can see, it's just laying here for right now. That's on. Super bright. We're going to drill a hole in here, put a rubber plug, have the switch mounted right here on the dash. Um, seat belts are kind of iffy. The one driver's side works, but the passenger side's kind of sketchy. So I don't know. We don't really use it. Oh, you're not going super fast to really get hurt anyway. So. There's the choke lever. Pull it out for choke. Switches. Horn. Um, gas tank. I think it's like a gallon. I also had to do a uh, fuel pump delete because the fuel pump was getting vacuum. There's a turn port vacuum, something or other. And it wasn't pushing the, full, the fuel through there too well so it was kind of sputtering and stalling out so I just took it off and we're just doing the gravity method here with the fuel line 
I got a new piece of fuel line. I'm going to get in the mail tomorrow, hopefully. It'll fit that a little bit better. This one's kind of stretched just a tad, but it works for the time being. The routing of these cables is kind of goofy. It's kind of sensitive. Um, you can see there's adjustments here for the throttle. And this one's a choke. Yeah, that's a choke. You got a pod filter on there, which you can clean every three or four rides if you want for anal about it, oil it. So the pods, the light pods are on here. They install pretty easily. Amazon for like 25 bucks. You get two of them. You get a relay and you get a switch and a little harness. Plenty of length, like you see, I got it wrapped up here. Uh, we're still not done fitting all that, but it fits right now for the time being. This engine is a single overhead cam, two valve. You can see down in there. Pretty cool little buggy. Um, brake lights do come on when you press the pedal. It does have turn signals left and right. Has a horn, has high or no high beams, has low beams. But you can see turn signals, front and rear. Turn on the brake pedal. Brakes light up pretty good. It's almost street legal. All you need is a plate, registration. Pretty cool little machine. Like I said, there's disc brakes all the way around. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Front and rear. It's got a long ass chain. I don't know what size chain that is. It's long as hell though, because it's got to go all the way to the rear, because this isn't a rear engine model. But so far, so good with this thing. I want to take it up camp, take it off road a little bit in the woods. You got a key ignition here. I got a little tag on there. Yeah, like I said, all I got it left to do is to really. Drill a hole in the dash, stick that light switch on there, install the Nibby 22 millimeter carb, which should be here tomorrow. This actual windshield folds down. You can see there's screws here to loosen everything. It does vibrate quite a bit, as you could imagine. But yeah, pretty sweet little buggy. Lights are super bright. I'll get a video here of them on. Check them out. Woo! Damn. Yeah, pretty cool. Tail lights. So yeah, I seen a video of this guy drove this thing like a thousand miles and he was getting like 30 miles a gallon, 25, 30 miles an hour. That's all you get out of this thing, but it's pretty fun nonetheless. Uh, I want to see how it does in the woods, up camp, on trails. Uh, should be pretty fun. Like I said, the seat belts aren't the greatest, kind of there. This seat does slide forward and backwards. The one side does work. The side does, uh, passenger side doesn't. The driver side works. So that's the Mini Jeep Rubicon US Army Edition. The light pod. Got the 22 millimeter carb coming soon from Nibby. And that should be it. I don't know what else we can do to this thing. A couple cool little add ons, I'm pretty sure. There's a group on Facebook that talks about all the shit they do. Their Jeeps, so.
fun little machine. Thanks for watching.